All right, today I have three plugins or scripts or whatever you want to call it for NBA 2K hook for NBA 2K23 on PC. Now, as you can see, I'm actually on the internet, but I'm still able to play the game and go through the menus if I wanted to. See, you could see me going through the menus in the background and I can pull up whatever I want. I can move this window wherever I want, do whatever I want with it. But I can still navigate the game in the background as long as I have my, uh, well, I've got an Xbox controller. So, you know, I guess, I don't know if you have to have an Xbox controller, but anyway, basically this, this will work for you guys if you're trying to multitask. Now I have two screens. So usually I'm working on my second screen. So right now you guys can't see that I have something up on my second screen, but on this screen, I'm still able to, you know, get in and out of games and mess around cause I have a controller, but on the other screen I'm using my mouse right now. So you guys can't see that, but that's what I'm doing. So anyway, uh, that one is called the X input without windows focus and where you're going to put these you're going to put these let me find my 2k23 folder you're going to put these inside your nba 2k hook folder inside of the scripts so there's mine right there that's where you want to put that so that you can still play the game in the background even if you have other windows open see you can see stuff changing in the background even though i've got this window open all right, then the next one, the next thing that I'm going to have linked in the description is going to be the unlock debug options. Now, all of these are created by Louis, um, L O L O O Y H Louis. Um, but they were created last year for 2k 22. They just happened to work in this, but debug option will give you, you know, more options. And let's go to, let me do a better example would be like going into my league. Yeah. Let me go back to the current one that I have going inside my league. And then you'll see at the top, I have more options than I normally would. And so you can kind of, even in some of the menus, you may have more options. You can see there's two relocations, but anyway, they have basically the same functions, but yes, you know, you can click on stuff. It's not summer league, but they still allow you to ac access the menu. Cause I have the debug options, um, have all the options unlocked. All right. So let me get off of this and go ahead and exit. There's a few other things you can do with that. Um, such as instant replay when you're in my league and you're just not scrimmaging, but just doing a freestyle practice in my league. I forgot to show you guys that. Cause normally I'm gonna go for office coaching. Yeah. When I do a uh, freestyle, when you're in my league, you don't have the instant replay option, but with this unlock debug option, it should should have instant replay. All right, so yeah, I forgot I changed this gym. I thought I don't know if I uploaded this gym or not. I think I did upload it for PS4 and Xbox One. Anyway, so should be able to go into instant replay. Yeah, now I can go into instant replay while doing freestyle in my league. So, and then that brings me to the last script that I have for you guys, which is the replay. Uh, you can zoom all the way out. Yes, yeah, sir. Zoom all the way out. Zoom all the way in. So yeah. <clears throat> and that one, let me see. Let me see if I can possibly go to a regular well anyway uh you guys see you get you get it you get the point basically you can get different camera angles zoom in as much as you need you know you'll probably be able to go out of bounds and get screenshots stuff like that 
Um, but that one, let me see if I can find it. It's called the free camera. Basically, it's like a free roaming camera. You can zoom in, zoom out as much as you need to. Um, you get angles you couldn't normally get in instant replay. So I'm going to have links to all three of these. And again, you want to go into your 2K23 folder, then go to your NBA 2K hook folder, scripts, and just drop all three of the files in there and then restart your game and everything should work uh, as long as you have the hook installed properly, which I've done a video on that before. But anyway, I told you guys, I think I told you guys this video will be very bland, straight to the point. The reason being, cause I've already gone over this before. Literally this year, I've done like two other videos on this. I did a live stream where I installed these live and showed you guys and the live streams are still up on my channel, but um, I understand live streams. You don't want to sit through a whole live stream to figure out this small piece of information. But anyway, hopefully this helps you all out. I don't know what kind of thumbnail I'm going to make for this um, because <laughs> I it just I mean, what kind of thumbnail could I make for this type of video? Anyway, I'm the goods on YouTube. I'm gone.